just briefly, I, I, so I'm, not, I'm not without sympathy and, and, and not, I, I, I agree that perhaps a, a degree of nuance in the hands of a judge would be, uh, would be beneficial uh, and they would be trustworthy. Where there may be a difficulty, however, though, is we, we are living in a social media age and the hard facts of the last number of years has been that witnesses, be they children, have been named, have been subject to abuse online, have been um, hounded in their communities, at their schools, um, and in, in the particularly hard cases, that, that has occurred. So if we put in a provision in law we're going to find ourselves in a situation where we will intend towards, you know, a judge applying that nuance. So, but in actual fact, permit that nuance in a social media field or in a, uh, so I think that we, we, before we move from, albeit a very rigid position, we, we need to consider that context and those that surroundings because some of the experiences of even children who went to the same school um, were fairly horrific in recent years. And, and so, and the sense of entitlement under the guise of free speech uh, to put whatever on social media um, has been used and abused to the detriment of a child. So I, I whilst I, I I agree, uh, um, but I can also see a reason why you would want to protect that sibling witness by anonymity, because it is a particularly harsh environment of social media that goes on out there. So I, I think that um, in any consideration of, of a very well-made argument, we need to consider that larger context that we're not exclusively, if we give discretion or we, we look at nuance, then we are not, we're, we're also fettering the ability to rely on that section 51, which is the, the criminal offence element of it. We then may have an implication of nuance in that context and, and I would be concerned about that.